Um, my draw to law enforcement is kind of a, uh, a little different than most. I grew up in a family where um, I, was the, uh, I was a product of domestic violence to some degree. It's the same thing that draws an awful lot of people to law enforcement, even though we sometimes feel self-conscious about saying it. It is the desire to help people, to make a difference, to belong to a cause. And I, I became a person who had to call 911 and, and request the help of law enforcement. And it became, uh, I mean, they were heroes to me. They came in and brought peace into my home when no one else could. That is why you go into this business. You have a chance to, to protect the innocent from the bad guys. You have a chance to, to help people. Any, anybody who joins law enforcement knows they're going into a very deadly, or uh, potentially deadly line of work, but it doesn't mean that uh, their lives are less important than those that they're going to protect. I think one of the reasons we've been seeing some people leave law enforcement is maybe not the officer themselves, but the family members that are frightened about what the officer could encounter out here. I have three boys and uh, my wife's at home. And although I'm not on the front lines very often anymore as the sheriff, um, my, my kids and my wife still worry about me every time I leave the door. I think the Blue Lives Matter Act is something that will be beneficial in that it's gonna counteract some of the hostility we seem to be getting from a tiny, tiny majority, a tiny minority of the population. You know, like I said, five to 10 years ago, the narrative that uh, would have defined law enforcement was one that was you know, highly respected and it was an honored profession. I still believe that that's the case with most citizens, but when you have a segment of society who loses that, uh, that feel for law enforcement, it definitely causes uh, concern. This would, I believe, counteract that, to let folks know that what law enforcement officers do for you is extremely important, that there are people uh, who have lives, they have families, they have loved ones, and they're getting hurt, they're getting killed at a rate right now that's exceptional. Law enforcement anywhere in the United States comes under fire, uh, you know, everybody locally or nationally that is in the law enforcement realm, they feel it. Uh, it gives officers one more thing to think about when they're going out here to do their job. Uh, it worries them and it makes them, in some cases, less likely to get into a situation where they could be endangered. And I can certainly understand that, but I need them I need all of us to be willing to go out and do our job and not afraid to do it. When you start talking about protecting cops, really what you're saying is you're protecting your neighbor, you're protecting your friend. What Ken's doing is fantastic for law enforcement.